I'm Kay Ashbridge and my channel is Energy Matters. Thank you for joining me. Hey, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you so much. Today's topic is gossiping or eliminating gossip. So I wanted to share with you an experience that I had. About a year ago, I committed to eliminating gossip from my communication. And I thought I'd share with you what that looked like and what I learned along the way and what happened after the commitment stuck. So I, I had noticed that this was about a year ago that in my inner and outer circle of friends that they had really started gossiping a lot and it was, it was a habit. And one day I felt like I'm being gossiped about and my spidey senses were really going off and so I really started paying attention to who was saying what about whom and I mindfully decided that I was not going to have anything to do with gossiping. So my first plan of action was that I would deflect it. I would change the subject. I would simply not engage in gossiping. and. That kind of worked, or it worked for a few minutes. But you know, when someone really has a bug up their butt about someone else, they are gonna wanna gossip about it. They really, they really will. And I was thinking, so why, why are people gossiping? What, why do we gossip? What are we looking for? And I think that oftentimes we're looking for confirmation or justification that our judgments are accurate and therefore we gossip about it to pull others in so they'll agree with us. And so as I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking, all right, so gossip and judgment go hand in hand. And is the judgment causing the gossip or is the gossip causing the judgment? And then I thought, well, you know, judgment and gossip, they go hand in hand or they go from mind to mouth. So I was really, really thinking about this habit of gossiping. And, you know, we all have judgments. We all have judgments about others or what's going on around us. And so we could say, well, look, I'm just venting. It's just venting. Okay, all right. So when we vent, that is typically getting something off our chests or out of our hearts. And we are venting with a close friend or a trusted ally. But when we have three or more people together, the venting typically turns to judge to gossip. And why share with three or more people your judgments if it's not to justify those judgments? So, okay. In, in With gossiping, it's always about tearing another human down. And I was very clear that I did not want to participate in tearing anyone down. And I didn't want to be torn down either. So this was getting to me and I thought, I've really got to eliminate gossiping from my communication so that it will go away from my world, right? So. I realize that gossiping is a real, it can be a real deep-seated habit with a lot of people. And actually, the only way they know how to communicate is to start off by, did you hear what so-and-so did, or they did, or they, and then this is, creates the big conversation. And of course, gossiping deflects what's going on with you because you're pointedly talking about someone else. So I really, really, was kind of stuck on this. How do I get rid of gossip from my world and my and my life? And you know, I decided I'm going to challenge myself. I'm going to challenge myself to 30 days of no gossiping. So I knew that this would be a challenge and I knew that I would need some accountability because, well, gossiping is, is gossiping. So... <laughs> you saw that bug. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so 
I had been in my mind uh, evaluating for a couple of weeks how am I going to stop gossiping? What's my plan of uh, you know creating a new habit and eliminating gossiping? And uh, so I decided I needed a way to make it stick. So I wrote a contract with myself. I wrote a contract and I stated in the contract that if I caught myself gossiping, this is for 30 days, if I caught myself gossiping, I would need to tear up that contract and start anew. So I signed the con I printed the contract, I signed the contract, and I was ready. I was ready for no gossiping. And so, yep, in a couple days I tore that contract up and had to start over. So <laughs> This time, with my new contract printed in hand and my commitment fresh, I enlisted the help of my husband. And I told him what I was up to, I showed him my contract, and I asked him to help me and to gently let me know if he caught me gossiping, remind me, help me get through this. And it was an arduous process. It took a lot of mindfulness and yeah biting your tongue right because until you try it you just don't know how much prevalent how prevalent gossip is in our communication so after another having to tear up my contract and my husband was helping me I enlisted the help of an of another friend who I knew would not gossip about me and tell others what I was up to and in fact she decided to join me in the challenge. So the accountability was was super helpful, super helpful. Um, being honest about what I wanted to do and having trusted allies that could help me achieve my goal. So what happened once I eliminated gossip? You know, it took it took a good couple of weeks, you know, the days turned into weeks and then a couple of weeks, finally it turned into a month and I had achieved it and I hadn't had to tear my my contract up and so I kept it going, I kept it going and it's been over a year, it's been, it's been really remarkable. Some of the things that I learned along the way as far as gossiping is that our self-talk is so important because we can gossip to ourselves. We can get into our own heads and gossip about ourselves. Gossip about other people, we're complaining about them, we're comparing ourselves, all that kind of stuff. It's not good for us, right? So we know that. And eliminating gossip was such a liberating and positive, rewarding thing to do. So, okay. I bet you can guess what happened once the gossip was eliminated. What do you think happened? Yeah, some of those friends fell away. They just fell away. And others simply stopped gossiping. It disappeared from our communications. And the communication started being more about experiences and belief systems and goals and the gossiping just stopped. It was amazing. And so we all know that our words are very powerful. We are powerful and our words are powerful. And it's kind of like something that is seen cannot be unseen, right? And it's when you speak the word out loud, you can't unspeak it. So being mindful about the way we communicate is it's a beautiful practice and because we vibrate from our being what it is that we are feeling, believing, speaking, the same is coming back to us and as our words vibrate out from us we know that we're going to be attracting the same because like attracts like. So by choosing to speak only healing and loving and kind words, you can ensure that that kindness is coming back to you. And I would like to challenge you to a 30-day eliminate gossip contract. Could you do that? 
And I would really love for you to share with me in the comments, have you ever done this? Have you ever paid attention to your gossiping and tried to eliminate it? So just know that I'm encouraging you to take the 30-day challenge to eliminate gossip from your communication and be mindful and pay attention to what happens with your self-talk and what happens with some of the people that are in your life. And, well, thanks for letting me share that with you. I really encourage you to take the challenge. Write up your contract, get yourself a trusted ally for accountability, and know that I am behind you all the way. So please comment and let me know how it's going for you. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.